Hi guys and welcome back to another video. As you can tell, this is in the back of our van and there's lots of deliveries here which are coming in future videos. But the reason why we're in the back of our van today is to tell you what we have planned for the back of our van. And we also have an update for you on the house. So in the back, one of the things we will be doing is getting rid of this. We're not 100% sure what is gonna go there yet, but we have some ideas. The back of the van is where our bed is going to be. I'm not going to lie. This way. <laughs> what way we're lying, bro? Just do that again. This way. <laughs> so we're going to have a higher bed so that we've got a garage space underneath so that we can set Tom's bike underneath. We're going to have a kitchen here. So we're going to have it overhanging so the door's open so that you can get into it. And we're going to do an L-shaped couch here. <laughs> These are my plans. It's a little bit harder to show you because, like I said before, we have all these deliveries in the way. So I had a plan. I was going to lie on the floor. I was going to go and sit over there. But no, it can't work because Tom's all the deliveries in the van. <laughs> Guys, because we're living in temporary accommodation at the moment, and like I said, today's video is going to be a house update as well, We've got nowhere to put it, like literally got nowhere to put all this. Like, we put some of the things in the apartment and like it was all like piling up and everything. It was like, no, we need to go and put these in the van. But I am actually fitting some of these today. That's going to be a video that's coming up soon. So, some of these have got little labels on. You probably know what some of them are. So why not pop them in the comments to see if you can have a guess what any of these actually are. And not the obvious one. <laughs> I was just going to say, I know what that one is. <laughs> Guys, one of the main things that we need to get done with the van is we're having a diesel heater fitted and to have the diesel heater fitted you also need to have the electrics fitted. Now the thing is with this camper van there's going to be things that we just cannot do because we don't have the skill and I'm not messing about with a van like this you know trying to like fit things myself. So we know that what we're going to be doing is we're going to actually be putting, I know you can't see like because of everything, but we're going to be putting the heater in that area down there because as Brooke said before, when we make like a lounge area here, we're going to have it so that the heater vent comes out and then it comes out down there so that obviously it can heat the van up. So as Tom was saying, we, we can't cut windows. We don't fit electrics. We're not electricians and things, so we ain't gonna be doing any of that ourselves. But there is things that we are gonna be building ourselves, like we're gonna build the U-shaped couch. I keep saying U-shaped, but I mean L-shaped. <laughs> so we're gonna fit the couch. We're also gonna do the kitchen, and we're also gonna fit the bed. But just so you're aware, we are having a window put here, and we're having a window put here. And we're not having sliding windows. So the other thing that we're going to be doing as well is because we know the layer of how we're going to do things we need to put usb connections in certain areas because so i'll point them out now yeah usbs up here air hostess 212 volts here <laughs> no, no 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 12 volt and usb there heater switch here light switches over here because we are going to be having lights down here <laughs> <laughs> love it we're also going to be having power for the kitchen area which is going to be around here and we're having a voltmeter we are also going to be fitting some things that we're not going to tell you guys about now but it's like something that's really exciting just little little extras that's going to make a big difference and make things mm, more exciting for us but stay tuned for that so we are actually getting obviously all the ply line we're going to get that covered in carpet we're going to do something different with the roof. Again, you'll have to wait and see what that is. So if you haven't seen already, the modifications that we've already had done is we've actually had black Rhino wheels fitted with the BF Goodridge tyres. And also, we've actually put some vinyl wrap because we're going for the hashtag VW Swamper look with this vehicle. And as Brooke said before, we're actually going to be getting windows done. But that, that's not something that we are going to do ourselves. We actually have a meeting with AJC Conversions who, if you have been a long time viewer of the channel, we've had a lot of work done by them, yeah. haven't we? Their quality of the work that they do there, it's just, it's, it's so and good, isn't it? And the really aftercare, good. it's fantastic. 
Now we've actually got a meeting, as I've just said, um, in a couple of weeks because we're just going to be getting like some of the last little things, you know, organised, aren't we? Making sure we're both on the same page yeah, of where we want everything. Yeah, where we want everything. And then we're going to be about one or two weeks after that actually getting them bits done. Now we're at, we are actually going to be documenting some of that and I'm going to be fitting some of the actual things myself so you'll have to wait for that and we're actually going to be fitting the bed ourselves as well so all that's to come as well with part of the conversion so moving on house update yes guys as you might know um or you might not know just over a year ago through um a long process which we won't a go into we, we, we've, we've actually done um, a video <laughs> about it we actually uh, decided to sell our house because we basically we're moving aren't we yep. and we're getting a new house and it's Generally, being built what at the do moment you sell a house? what no not always you might want to sell your house and come and live in your camper van or something but you still be moving exactly, I suppose <laughs> but anyway so we decided you know what to move and we've said it in videos before but the reason that we're moving is because we want to be closer to the country and everything yeah. don't we and the area that we're moving to is uh, it's a lot quieter in that and it's going to give us more opportunity yeah it's going to give us a lot more opportunities with van life to do lots more things and lots of places to visit yeah and lots of places to like well camp and stay over as well so yeah. all that's coming but what we're going to do is we're just going to give you a quick update where we're at with the house because as you know we've had some delays so originally we was meant to be moving in our house in November it got delayed till after well, Christmas yeah, after basically Christmas. now it's been delayed till February we're basically going to be moving in in March so the reason why there's been so delays is nothing to do with our builders our builders are actually really really good yeah they're fantastic and um, they're fantastic but it was because of all the shortages and everything that's going on in the world at the moment so we've actually been up to the house um, and because it's exciting it, yeah so exciting <laughs> and what it is they basically have got a lot of different things like ready haven't they yeah. um, and they asked us if we wanted to go up to like maybe like if we want some things changing in the house and that I'll put some pictures here of like what it looks like inside at the moment but you know there's so much going on it's really exciting so if you are new to the channel during this process because um, we actually sold our house and moved out in November we've been living in temporary accommodation at the moment and we've been living in an apartment so you know, hopefully, you know, like Brooke just said, the March time Fingers is going to be the time up. that we'll actually move into the new house. This has got nothing to do with the house, but I just want to point out, because we sat in the van, see how much space they have between them? <laughs> it's further away from me. This is amazing. Do you know what? I've never what, what's that? It. It's amazing. Come on. Hey, you said it this time. <laughs> but you know what? Yeah, you're right. It's, it's, there's a lot of space Hi. in it. That, you're that, right, Tom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go so guys when we do actually move into the house we're going to bring you guys along with us and we're going to show you all that process because when we do move in it's going to be a lot easier to get a lot more things done with the van what i went <laughs> i was about to say something all right go for it go for it go for it all right go for it go for it all right a bit close okay there we in go. personal space there you go so when we do move into the house there is actually something to do with dub ventures going to be in that house so guys, lots to come, lots to do, but we're on it, aren't we? Yes. We're on it. And, and on the other note of not just the hat to do with the house or the conversion of the van, we've also got lots of trips planned. Yeah, we're, we're going, going glamping. glamping. And as soon as we get to a stage where, even if the van's not finished, but we can sleep in it, yeah. we're going wild camping. Yeah, we <laughs> are. We missed we are, it so much. Yeah, th this is one of the reasons why we started going well camp uh, sorry, glamping, because we was missing like that being you know out in the country being in the forest and things just, and just the glamping pods are like that we really enjoy it don't we so the thing is even when the camper van's done we're still probably going to do a little bit of things like that aren't we yeah, so definitely that's it for today's video guys if you've enjoyed it please hit that like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell it's free it really helps the channel out so until the next one guys bye bye for now